but we are taking you to the dark side for our show today. So who says you can't paint your entire house in the darkest colors you can find? Ooh, I'd be scared mm. to do that, but Leanna Lair Pro says, go for it. Go for it. You're here to tell us that uh, we might be making some mistakes when it comes to our use of dark paint. And we're making a lot of mistakes? Well, okay, so I Are wouldn't necessarily classify wrong? them as mistakes. Okay. I would say that most people opt not to paint with dark colors because they have a fear of doing so. Yeah. Because they fundamentally don't understand the color theory and how to introduce dark colors into your space. Right. And there are a lot of myths out there, which some of them we're gonna bust today. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you not to be fearful of the dark side and actually introducing darker colors into your space might do the opposite of what you're afraid of. <gasps> it might actually Say be a so. good thing in your space. So we need you to go put on one of those dark academia vests because <laughs> right? you're like in Professor LA mode right now, <laughs> color theorist. Right? So let's do the first myth. Okay. The first myth, dark colors are used best in large open spaces because they make a room look smaller. What do you think? I think, think that that is... Oh, there's is lots of nods in the audience. True. That it makes the room look smaller? Yeah. Well, I'm here as Professor Raven to tell you <laughs> that dark colors can actually make a room look larger Ooh. because you think about dark colors, they recede away from you. So in right. a small space that has very a very defined perimeter, when you put a light color, you're going to notice the footprint of it being smaller, such as maybe a powder room, something that's very small. Right. You add a dark color into that space, all of a sudden the walls recede away, the corners become shadows, you have no clear definition, and then anything you layer into the space that's a lighter color, that's what advances towards you and grabs mm -hmm. your attention, and you're no longer noticing the size of the space. Oh, so it so almost it disappears. Push, it disappears away, oh, yes. Okay. All right, I love that. True or false, dark colors on a ceiling can make it appear higher. Dark colors on a ceiling, I would say that that is false. I yes. feel like it's gonna make There's it a lot look... of like, yeah, Sorry. a lot of people agreeing with you in the audience. False. True. What? Okay, here's all I need to say. Yeah. Think of the night sky, oh. right? As I'm a raven flying that around looks, in the sky. That looks big. It's infinite. Yeah. So when you actually add a dark color onto a ceiling, it gives this infinite feeling to the space yeah. because here's a little color theory. Dark colors absorb all light, and we mm -hmm. see in this bedroom how there's no reflection. You don't notice the ceiling first. You're noticing the wall, everything that's light again advancing towards you. Mm -hmm. The ceiling just melts away and has that infinity feeling to it. You yeah. want to know my favorite place to paint a dark ceiling? Where? This is going to be controversial. I know Where? It is. I've done this once for a project and adored it in a basement with low ceilings. What? Right? <laughs> And a lot of why people would, would think, why would that? you do that? It's already low and it's gonna feel cavernous. And again, it just feels so open. And what really? it actually does is draws your attention to eye level. You're not noticing reflection of light off the ceiling. Everything's at eye level and it brings your eye down so you're not noticing the height. That's pretty cool. It's I a would not trick. think that in a, in a million years. Yes. Here's another one, painting your trim the same dark color as your walls can make the room look taller. I think that that's true. That is true. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely true. Because what can happen, and I've got an example here, we've got a couple of dark colors. When you put a light baseboard against it, all of a sudden your wall now visually ends where that baseboard starts. Yeah. Versus introducing a dark trim, and now it extends yeah. all the way down. Think about it like an outfit. If you want to look a little slimmer, you're gonna wear all black, but imagine mm -hmm. putting a white belt on that. Mm, you're cut gonna your draw right in half. all of the attention, so you're cutting your room in half. Same yeah. thing with, as the, the same thing in fashion applies with your trim. If you wanna look long, lean, and extended, yes. you wear all black, you put on the black dress, the black, the black tights, the black shoes, mm and you look nice and tall, so put on your black high heel shoes in your room and paint your baseboards that same dark color. Bring it right down. Very nice. Oh, do you paint your high heels? I always. Who always. You don't? <laughs> we want to see some video of that, actually. High that heels in a raven Just costume. Right. I never thought I would be on City Line <laughs> painting in a raven costume, but here we are. It was gonna happen eventually. Right? It's been that many years. Okay, here's the next one. Dark paint colors are harder to apply and require more coats. I go back and forth with my mom about this. What do you think? Um, yes. What do you think? You think no? Yes. There's lots of yeses. Some yeses, some noes. Well, here's the thing. Technology and product innovation has come so far yeah. that you do need less coats than previous. Uh, but I just want to show you this and ask. We had the whiteboard, but I painted, this is actually one of my favorite dark moody colors called Stellar Navy by Color Spark. How many coats do you think it took me to build this color up? Like two or three. On top of this? This was one coat coverage. How do you know this? One coat. <laughs> 
What? One coat coverage. And Black let me just, on white? Right. So basically, this is a paint and primer in one. And again, I love me. Like, look at the coverage That's that you get with amazing. one coat. Now, you will always see when it's even if you're using a paint and primer, yeah. you will always see on the can read that the recommendation is two coats because you want to build up a film thickness that's going to be durable on the wall. Got but it. in terms of color coverage, one coat will do her. Okay. Yes. So you got to, yeah, that's pretty amazing to me. That does not work with blonde hair, does it? <laughs> If you went in and said, I want raven black hair, it's not going to be one coat. Probably not. Probably it would probably not. take a while. But this is where uh, we talk about quality. Yeah. When you get a good quality of product, like, don't get me wrong. There are paints out there where you can buy a less expensive paint and it will take you five coats. Right. And you're going to spend more money and spend more time to do it. Mm -hmm. But again, investing in something like a paint primer in one that's a really good quality paint, still affordable and economical, yeah. one to two coats saves you money because you're buying less paint and saves you so much time. So do not avoid dark colors because you're fearful of how hard the job is going to be. It'll be very easy. Okay, good stuff. Here's another one for you. Dark yes. paint colors highlight imperfections on walls. Mm. Do dark paint colors highlight imperfections on walls? I think they do. They actually don't because, again, dark colors absor absorb light. So yeah. you're going to have less reflections off of all of the imperfections. Okay. But the asterisk to this conversation would be sheen. Yes. She the sheen will yeah. really determine the true answer to this. Yeah. This is charcoal black. Uh, and with this color, you have it on this side in eggshell and this color in a semi-gloss. And you can see a distinct difference mm -hmm. with the sheen. You're going to notice every single little nail hole that you've... Fingerprint, exactly, everything. Everything that you've touched up here versus the matte finish or an eggshell finish will not only absorb the light because of the color, but absorb because of there's lower sheen. Well, look at you, Professor Raven. That was amazing.